Hey, hey, this is Toxic Rain Scandal. Got another toxic topic for you guys today. Is Zelina Vega underrated or overrated? Like and subscribe to the Toxic Rain Scandal. With that being said, we're going to do laundry. So, we're going to go over her career, a little bit of her accomplishments, her background. As she was, started out as a manager. She was a manager from 2011 to 2020. There is a run. She still manages, but she's mostly a wrestler now. They focus on her career on wrestling at this point. Not so much the manager anymore. Now, her finish or her moveset, she's been doing moonsault since 2010. Also, she did the fly cut from 2010 to 2017. And from 15 to 17, she's done the standing tornado DDT. So she mostly does a moonsault for the most part. That's the finishers. Now, her accomplishments with the WWE. She's, of course, the one-time women's champion championship with Carmella. She also was a TNA knockout tag team champion with Serena. Now, she won the WWE Queen Crown winner in 2021 and the PWI Express for the rest of the year in 2011. So, she's building a little resume for herself as a single competitor, not just a manager. Now, she was a face in 2010-2011. She spent majority of her career as a heel. Currently, since the beginning of this year, back in February, she's been a face character. Now, surprisingly, she's been getting over as a face character. Signature moves also is her Karana, open arm drag, somersault, senpai. Now, this is a picture of her as Queen Selena, which she won the women's queen in the ring. Also, her winning the tag team championship with Carmella. So, she's, like I said, now she's with the LWO, which stands for Latino World Quarter, which was revamped from WCW, which Rey Mysterio was also in. We revamped it earlier this year, right before WrestleMania. So she's getting over also as part of the LWO. She's the only female member of the group, which is of course Rey Mysterio, Santos Escobar, Cruz Del Toro, and Joaquin Wild. But um, she's been getting over as a face character. Now, I know she tried to do the 619. That didn't go over so well at Backlash against Rhea Ripley. Very weak move for her. But she's been doing good as a face character. And her moves that is improving a little bit. I know she does her little move off the top rope. But the question is, is she overrated or underrated? And I know I'm going to get some comments about this one. People are not going to like it too much. But I'm going to get my honest opinion. I will have to say she's underrated. Selena Vega, if she keeps this momentum up as a face character, and she continue to work on her moveset, she could get better. It could be a world champion. You never know. Or at least a money in the bank ladder match for the women's you never know could potentially win one of those two things win the women's money in the bank ladder match and cash in to be the WWE women's champion or the WWE women's world champion you never know she got really really over at backlash by her heritage he did get over against Rhea Ripley the crowd was really rooting for her like I said I know it's in Puerto Rico but he asked what it takes if they keep up the momentum and writing her storyline correctly. She could be a better performer overall, a potential world champion. But that's all I have regarding the subject. You guys let me know in the comment section below whether you agree, disagree, or are you neutral on the whole thing. Until then, it is all you.
ਹੀ